All right, what's up, y'all? It's Big Mike uh, with Bangers and Bullets, man. Back at you again with another Banger Dundini, man. We just picked up a Delton Sierra 316 um, from the corporation of Delton. It is an AR-15, shoots 5.56s five, five, and 223s. Uh, we bought a 1,000 rounds of ammunition. Um, we just put a scope on it here by Osprey Scopes. We have another... A red dot here that we'll be possibly putting on a day has multiple multiple views, crosshairs, um, the dots, the circles. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Um, we have the the side slanted rail to put on here on the uh, the front rail, so we can have the the red dot on the side. Um, but yeah, we'll be shooting this today. This is a beautiful. Um, piece of work here um, I'm excited um, to finally have my first legal AR-15 um, once again my boy will be out here shooting it we are in Washington State at a gravel pit um, kind of made by the state for people to shoot um, we got some metal rails we'll probably be shooting that um, but periodically um, we'll just kind of tap in and just kind of show y'all how it's going we did bring 200 rounds today um in an ammo box um so we'll be out here shooting and having fun um as you can hear some people are already out here shooting so um yeah y'all stay tuned all right in case you guys wanted to know the price uh the price uh of this joint was 6.99 just wanted you uh to know in case you guys was interested but it is the sierra 316 l m lock so if you want to check that out you can go to the del times web page um and check that out all right y'all this is the first shots with the ar-15 by del time my boy gonna go ahead and set it off his target is over here let me zoom in that's his target Yeah, ready when you are. He's practicing those slow squeezes. He's doing good so far. He's safe. Stance is pretty solid. Mm, he doing some damage over there. In Washington State, we're only allowed to have 10 round mags. All right, y'all, I think we're going to raise that scope up. I got a a, um, a high-rise rail for that scope. I see his head is ducked down pretty far to see that. I know I wouldn't like that. And, and y'all, just know we're getting used. This is our Second Amendment journey. Um, I just restored my rights, so uh, this is our legal. Uh, first time at really just being able to be out in the open and be shooting um, and just trying different things, practicing different things. Um, just ride with us on this journey, man. I mean, cause I can dig it. So I know you can dig it, but that's some beautiful firepower right there. Um, I think we're going to name him black Samson. That's going to be the name of the gun. His last name is El Negro. Pause for this intermission. Yeah. We just getting there loaded up. We had a few shots, <clears throat> um, two clips so far. 
beautiful thing. Um, we got 200 rounds. We bought a thousand rounds the other night. We got 200 rounds um, that we're going to go through and we'll just kind of check in periodically, man. I appreciate y'all for rocking with us. Boom, he knocked that joint down. There you go, son. Yeah, yo, I just want to say, uh, you know, this is a beautiful hobby. This is a beautiful sport. Um, everybody that needs to kind of get your, get your rights back, man. Um, don't hesitate, man. If you've been to prison, you've been to jail, um, you know, you have some felonies, maybe even domestic violence or something like that on your record. Every state is different. Um, but just make sure that you do what you do. Call a local attorney um, and just see uh, what it'll take to get your rights uh, restored. Um, it's not difficult. It's not hard at all. Uh, I did. I had to pay a thousand dollars to get my rights restored. Um, but it's something that could be done. Um, I just don't want y'all to give up, man. The second amendment is really important, uh, for you to be able to descend, de excuse me, defend yourself against tyranny, um, tyrannical governments, um, and just this home protection, man, to protect yourself, um, from these fools out here in these streets, man. Like I say, I'd rather have an AR-15 in my hand. Then the phone in the other hand waiting on the police to come. And with that, we'll be right back. Man, my boy shooting. He hitting that damn bottle over there. Walking. He hitting it. Look at him. Look at him. Walk it. Walk it next door. There you go. Walk that joint. Yes, you look walking. Ah, he hit me. Wow. Yeah, hit that blue. Get the, the blue water bottle. My boy getting good, y'all. Look at that. Watch this. There you go. If that wasn't a torso, I don't know what it was.
He getting good. It looked like his neck is broke. <laughs> he on that joint like his neck is broke. I'm gonna put this high rise on it, y'all. See, it then turns sideways or forwards and backwards, and it's a smaller target. You can't hit it. Now you're going to walk around. <laughs> you're cheating, boy. You're supposed to be able to get that. Good job, good shot. He's shooting at those little orange pieces up there. Yeah, those are small. Close. That was real close. Just making him strain that aim. Stretch him out. This is where the growth happened, y'all. Okay. Squeezes. We getting it. He getting it, y'all. Yeah, my boy getting good, y'all. I would have to say this AR-15 is running real cool. The sights still ain't adjusted. Um, I played with that a little bit. Being new to the game, I don't really know how to work with the sights. Um, but I kind of just, I put out that paper over there. Um, and it's off about four inches uh, to the left. So I'll play with that a little more. Um, 
as we go. But right now, it's more like having fun and just kind of hitting stuff. We still have to hit cans or bottles, and, you know, um, if we go from a side angle, because it gives us like three or four inches to play with left to right, um, or depend on how the can is sitting, whether it's up to down. But um, we're finding out if there's a circle, we're off uh, a little bit. My boy doing good too. I'm loving that stance. This is what it's about, man. Just having fun, enjoying your hobby. Getting accustomed to your gun. Understanding what it feels like. And being able to put in that work when that time comes or if that time comes. Heaven forbid you try to shoot somebody, but if you do, you want to hit them. You know, you want to be able to hit them. I'm sad to say that you can't do that, uh, but growing up in the city, uh, that's what it is. You know, especially if you're black, Hispanic, or Native American, you know, whether you, you're a gang member or not, you live in a gang neighborhood. <laughs> There's just ain't no way around that. Um, so just being able to understand how to do it responsibly, be a responsible uh, firearm carrier, abiding by all the laws, you know, playing with your guns. Uh, these is grown folks Legos and we really enjoying ourselves, man. You know, I hope this video ain't boring. I mean, but it is what it is. Hopefully you guys watch it all the way through. Um, we will be getting a subscriber giveaway here soon. Um, yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, that's a beautiful gun, y'all. I gotta say, um, we probably 150, 160 rounds in now. And, um, I mean, it's still holding up, no problems. We'll run it. Um, actually, we didn't oil it, we just gonna run it dry. All 260 rounds, um, that we brought with us. And then we'll grease it and catch all the little metal shavings. After finding it dry, and then we'll clean out the gun and then capture all the metal shavings. Another time you want to do a new gun. I'm sure some people would disagree. Uh, but matter of fact, if you disagree, how do you do your, your gun? When you, you know, what's the style that you use to clean out your guns? Do you run it dry? And then do you grease your gun and get all the dry um, metal shavings out and then oil your gun, lube your gun? Or do you get your gun and then do you lube it? First, what you do? Leave a comment down below. All right, y'all. My boy just gonna tap practice some uh, some double tap little drills real quick. Yeah, we just running drills, um, getting my boy practiced up here. His target is that wood. He got off track, but that's all right. He, that's what practice is for. And he hitting the target too. That's what I'm talking about. 
My boy getting better, y'all. We're going to have this boy drilled up by the time this is over with. All right, we're going to try that again, y'all. We're going to do some running drills here real quick. Yeah, I'm just kind of working with my boy practicing this over and over. You know, practice makes perfect. There you go. Stop and get a game. Yeah, my boy's doing good, y'all. That's what I'm talking about, man. Practice makes perfect. We're just going to continue to do what we do. You see the boxes of bullets done piled up. That's the last 20-pack right there. We've been around through 260, 260 rounds. Hold on. I'll give him the instructions. All right, y'all. Yeah, I think he's getting better and better at this. This is pretty good. This is pretty cool. Um, you know, just running drills, man. Um, you know, running drills and just try to get better at your game, man. Getting your your, your shooting game up. Um, I used to say on my silver channel, you got to get your stack game up high. Um, you know, you got to get your aim right, man. You know, um, I can really appreciate this hobby, man. The Second Amendment is a beautiful thing. You got to really be prepared. They say if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. With that, we're going to stay ready. Yeah, he getting real familiar with that. Man, my boy getting good, y'all. It's good to practice um, these running drills, man. I mean, because this is what real life is going to be like. You know, when something happens, you got to be moving, man. You can't just stand still. You're going to be a moving target. Yeah, two there, two there, two there, two there, two there. A little diamond like go. All right, y'all, uh, after shooting the, uh, the AR-15, um, about 260 rounds, uh, as you can see. We've been through all those all those cases of bullets. Um, I would say this is a good rifle so far. Um, I don't really have no complaints. Um, I'm still working on getting the sight together. Um, but outside of that, Good gun. I mean, I've, I've been able to pretty much hit everything that I've Yeah, good gun. Check it out. Uh, Delton uh, AR-15 Sierra 316 L. Um, all right. Yeah. See y'all. Have a good one. Peace.